Hi guys, welcome to Skugan, uh, down near Bergen in Norway. It's a beautiful spot, really, really lovely. And the harbour here, which I'll just pan around and show you, is, is super, super scenic. So, uh, and I've uh, come here with a 6x17 camera by Steve Lloyd. This is the Chroma Camera 6x17. Uh, it's a 3D printed camera uh, with a 90mm cone, a 150mm cone and the 65mm cone. Um, I brought the 90mm lens with me here uh, along with the Fresnel screen so I can do a bit of focusing, make sure everything's spot on and uh, get my composition right. The backs are interchangeable which is really useful so I can pop a dark slide in to a second composition and then um, yeah carry on rather than needing to have an educated guess after the first um, first film is loaded excuse the phone uh, after you've taken the first shot uh, because then on most 617 cameras you don't have a dark slide to be able to then recompose uh, so this is really handy and it's super lightweight which is which is another bonus so I'm looking forward to seeing the results so I've popped the uh, Fresnel screen on the back there so I can do a bit of composition and uh, a bit of focusing to make sure everything's in focus although pretty much um, infinity at this this um, this distance from the subject but uh, yeah, I'll have a play with it and make sure everything's in focus and the composition's nice. And then from there, we can get the shot. The ground glass, or the Fresno, clips on really easily. Again, magnetic, got two clips on the side here. So you can pull it off and then clip it back on. And it clips on, so pull it off here, clip it back on. Yeah. Works a treat, so put my hood over my head and uh, do a composition. So I metered the scene and uh, worked out because I've got a uh, centre filter on the 90mm lens at about an eighth of a second at f22. I don't think I need much more depth of field than that at the moment because it's almost infinity. So uh, yeah, eighth of a second f22 at 90mm, ISO 100 and uh, all that is set on the lens here, or I'll show you here, just so you can see. So you've got your f-stop up here. This is to cock your shutter, which is already cocked. The front ring here controls your shutter speed, um, ranging up to 500th of a second, and bulb plus the time mode. Um, which is pretty useful and uh, pretty much it. Yeah. I'm going to pop a polarizer on now though, uh, just to polarize the water a little bit and see whether that helps with the composition. So I'm going to uh, recompose, or perhaps not recompose, but just configure the um, configure the polarizer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the dark slide back in. The dark slide will cover the film so that uh, we don't have any exp issues with ex re exposing the film. That's it, dark slide's on its way in. Pressed and locked, so hopefully there won't be any issue with uh, light leaking onto the film. Then I can remove the film back, put the Fresnel screen on, and check out the composition and uh, rejig the polarizer so that's something I'm going to do now. So to remove the film back it's pretty simple it's just uh, you've got two thumb points here and here press up on those and the, the uh, film back will pop up uh, because it's uh, magnetic so it's very easy I'll just do that now. Okay now I've recomposed with the Fresnel screen which is on the back there yeah, you can't actually see what's going on there. You need a hood, which I've been putting my head underneath to, to be able to see the light transmission on the back of the uh, Fresnel. Um, so I've moved the composition up slightly and I've put a polarizer on, which is going to change my exposure. So I'm going to go down to a quarter of a second, but there's absolutely no wind. Okay, 
not shooting film for a while. I'm glad I remembered to actually wind the film on. Uh, otherwise that would have been that. So uh, yeah, I've changed composition slightly. Got about 15 minutes of sun left. So I'm including this um, boathouse over here on the left. Uh, which is really nice. So it's actually this one I'm including. So the composition pretty much starts from there, goes round, has this island in, and then a tiny bit of separation between the land and the, so the land here and the island. So there is a tiny little bit of separation, which is important so that it doesn't overlap. And I've also elevated the camera slightly so that we've got more sky than, um, than uh, foreground and again polarized the water slightly so we'll be at an eighth of a second but I'm going to do one at an eighth of a second and then one at a fifteenth of a second uh, and then that will be bracketed and that will be that roller film used and on to the next one so yeah I'm enjoying using this especially on a day like today in such a lovely place too okay so we've only got a few more minutes of light left so I've changed my composition slightly so we've got the boathouse on the left here and we've got equidistant gap here with the uh, fish farm in the middle and as I say equidistant over here so it should be pretty similar and yeah that's the composition and we're on Kodak Ektar 100 uh, 6x17 polarized and I've metered it with uh, both my light meter app on the phone and the Reveni Labs uh, light meter, which is a great piece of kit, but it's something I'm getting used to, so until I've got it sussed, I'm double checking. But uh, yeah, I hope these come out well, and I hope you enjoy them. So welcome back to the uh, same jetty in Skugan in Norway. And uh, today we've got a little bit more cloud cover, and unfortunately I can't go far, so, I've come down here with my uh, new Chroma 6x17 camera. So I'll do a rundown of the uh, 6x17 camera. So the camera is a Chroma Cameras uh, 6x17 made by Steve Lloyd. Uh, it's a great little 3D printed medium format panoramic camera. Um, I'll just show you now. So it's a very modular design, um, pretty much all magnetic, so the, the backs are interchangeable with a dark slide and you can pop the backs on and off by popping the dark slide in, then the magnets hold the back in place and again you can pop the dark slide in, take the back off, put your Fresnel screen on or your ground glass screen which is what I have here, the Fresnel screen, uh, do you focus in? using a loop uh, and then pop your back on and carry on. Uh, the advantage of that is that you can recompose mid roll uh, by simply popping your dark slide in, removing the back, um, composing another picture and carrying on. Rather than with most 6x17 cameras you kind of do your first composition via your ground glass and then the following three on the 120 film you get four on one roll of 120 so the following three you kind of have to hazard a guess with your composition with a viewfinder i haven't got a viewfinder on this one although i have got a photo man viewfinder with me but you can use the viewfinder app you can use a um, you know a hot shoe mount for your phone and do it that way but uh, it's just really accurate using the Fresnel screen and uh, be able to get pinpoint focus as well which is which is what we need so you get a lovely 6x17 panorama so yeah the lenses are interchangeable via lens cones so this is the lens cone here which is again magnetic and has a latch on the other side I'll just show you that so that latch there maybe you can't see it because the sun is just over there but that latch there is a quick release and then you just pop it off really easy to change I do have two other lens cones I have the uh, 
65 millimeter 5.6 schneider and the top core 150 uh, which i think is a 6.3 lens off the top of my head but they're both at home so i've got a 90 millimeter with me so this 90 millimeter is a uh, caltar 2 f6.8 large format lens which has a nice image circle capable of covering a 6x17 frame really easily uh, so so that's perfect for this kind of photography and uh, it's all manual photography in that you uh, open your your lens do your composition close your lens really important um, meter the scene uh, put your your f-stop and your shutter speed on the lens so that's done here so you've got your your aperture control here your shutter speed control is on the front here which is rotational and uh, cock your lens here with this lens cock which is a spring and your lens lock is on the other side just down here so open closed and i'm going to have it open so i can recompose and that's it it's pretty cool and i'll show you once the back is on and then i can remove a dark slide and do a shot so yeah i've done my composition i'm quite pleased with how it looks so this is on my fresnel screen so i've used a cover over my head to try and um, you know, make the composition, make sure the focus and everything is spot on. And now uh, I'm just going to take the shot. So I'll remove the Fresnel screen, which again is just a magnetic, nice and easy to remove. And I've got my film back here, preloaded with my dark sliding. So it's just a question of popping that on. It's magnetic. Sure it's clipped nice and tight make sure the lens is closed that's important I set my f-stop f22 one at the moment a 30th of a second cock the lens so that's it Double check everything's clipped on, which it is, so that's nice and tight. So now it's ready to expose the picture. And it's so easy just to pop that Fresnel screen off, pop it in my bag, pop the back on, knowing that uh, the dark slide is in, so I'm not going to expose the film. And then remove the dark slide. Trouble checking, the lens is locked. Just check on the, the back here that I'm on exposed. Uh, number three on the film counter to make sure that I've got enough film across the film gate to make sure that I'm exposing a 6x17 negative. So 3, 6, 9, 12, you get four on a 120 roll. And uh, I think I might actually put a graduated neutral density in just to uh, bring down the sky a little bit. So now it's a question of removing the dark slide and doing an exposure. So here we go. Lens locked. F-stop set. Shutter cocked. Dark slide removed. it done I'm going to pop my dark slide back in I 
open my lens knowing that my dark slides back in make sure I roll the film on it's nice and easy to see the film indicators I did have a problem trying to see them on my uh, photo man 617 so this is quite easy so we want to go to six which is five there number six there we go hi guys just rushed to the end of this peninsula over here which is somewhere uh, near Bergen and um, don't know exactly where I'll put a name uh, in the description and on the video but uh, couldn't really do a uh, vlog because I was rushing to catch sunset uh, which I just about did but I'll show you the composition um, and the photo at the end of the video but the composition was this leading pool here in a portrait landscape with this island to the left hand side and the sunset dropping down just in front and as you can see there's still lovely colours here so it was quite a nice composition um, taken from about here with some more foreground interest all the way up so I'm quite pleased with that it was quite a nice nice balanced composition as I say in portrait mode at about 16 millimeters on the Nikon Z17 but uh, yeah really lovely spot bit of a rush to get here but it was well worth it so yeah I'll post it at the end of the video hope you enjoy